Hello and welcome to this video from Client Engager. In today's video, I'm going to be going through the new automatic email feature that we are launching on the 7th of June. If you're watching this video before the 7th of June, the reason we're doing this video is so you can start planning ahead. Start thinking about your workflows, what email templates you're going to need to create, and start planning that all out ready so that when this feature launches on the 7th of June, you're ready to go and you can start implementing this for your firm straight away. So let's have a look at Client Engager's automatic emails. Okay, so automatic emails has been a very high demand feature from a lot of our bigger users and our smaller users. Every firm of every size can benefit from the automation and the efficiency that automation that can bring with automatically sending emails. We've spent a lot of time thinking about how we implement this so that it is designed to make sure that you are getting the best out of it. It needs to be as customizable as possible and it needs to be as tailorable as possible to every firm. So that's why it's taken us a little time to get this right, but we're really happy with how it's come out. So let's have a look in Client Engager. Let's see what's going on and see how it all works. Okay, so here we are in our Client Engager demo account. First of all, you're probably going to notice we've now got an Automations tab up here. And if we click on that, you'll see there's one queued, zero successful and zero failed. We're going to go into this in a bit more detail later on. First, what I need to do is go and set up some automations. So I'm going to go to Settings, and I'm going to go to My Services. And what you'll notice now is there's now a new column called Global Alert Auto Reminders for each service. So I'm going to show you how to set this up on a very basic one. The theory is you could create this quite extensively to be quite powerful, uh, depending on what you want to do for your firm really. So let's go down to a CS101, so a confirmation statement. Um, and we'll use that as an example, because all I want to do is generate an email that automatically sends, that tells my client in 21 days, your confirmation statement's due. Let us know if there's any changes you want to make if there isn't, or if you don't respond, we'll assume there's no changes and we'll file it. So let's see how we do that. So we're going to go to Setup and we've now got this Auto Reminders option. And we're going to add New. First of all, what we need to decide is whether we're enabling or disenabling this automated feature. Well, obviously we want to, we want to enable the automatic email going. We've then got a choice. Do we want this email to go into a queue, which relates to that automation tab at the top, or do we want it just to send straight away without us proofreading and checking it? What I would suggest as best practice is why we all get comfortable with this, because it does take time to get comfortable with automation. Why we get comfortable and build confidence in it, I would suggest all your emails go into a queue so you can review them to make sure you're happy. And then as you get more confident, there might be some emails like this one, for example, that you just yeah turn it on for automatic sending and it doesn't go in the queue and you'll mark that as no. And that will mean when it's generated, it just automatically sends. Then you need to set what time you want the automation to happen. This is a 24 hour clock, so if you wanted 2 p.m., you'd put in 1400 hours. Please, please be careful with this. If you put in 2 o'clock in there thinking you're doing 2 a.m. at 2 p.m., it will go out at 2 a.m. and you don't want to be disturbing your client at 2 a.m. in the morning. So make sure you're using the 24 hour clock. Do we want to allow these automations to run on weekends, yes or no? We're going to select no. What email template are we going to send? Well, to help you out, we've put in some auto email templates in here already. So I'm going to select my CIS one. So those half a dozen templates will be in your instance of Client Engager when this feature rolls out on the 7th of June. So you don't have to write those ones. That's quite nice and easy. And then it just gives you an idea of what you could do. You can preview that email to make sure you've chosen the right one. And then you can select who you're going to send it to. Now, this is the global level. Like a service, it's global. This affects everyone. You can go in and tailor this to a client. Now, I'm going to show you that in a moment. But at a global level, you can either select all contacts or just the primary contact. So I'm going to select primary contact. And then you can select what email outbox you use. So you could use shared or the outbound general one, so we're going to go with the outbound only. Now when do you want this to happen? So in my email, 
I've said that in 21 days, this is something that's got to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this email in 21 days. Okay. And I can also turn around here and say, I want this to repeat. So I want it to repeat every two days until the following information is met. Um, so it's all very kind of conversational, a bit like the pricing. It's very much, I want you to do this. I want you to carry on doing it until this point. I'm not going to set this to repeat because it's just a one-off reminder to my client. Then I need to check what under what conditions would this send. So there's some mandatory conditions. The client's got to be active. They've got to be have a contact person with the right email address, etc. But then you can either send it regardless of anything else, or I could say, well, only send it if the records received set date is not set in the task. Or if I don't want to do that, I could go only send this if the job status is uh, request records or waiting records. So I can now save that. And that's now created my automatic reminder, which will run at nine o'clock every day or whatever time I've set it for, no problems at all. Now, how do I create that on a client by client basis? Let's go and have a look. So I'm now in my client and you notice we've got a new tab, service auto reminders. And if I go up to the CSO one or confirmation statement, you can see a bit like checklists, you can have global or client specific. So I'm gonna edit this. Maybe I actually don't want this one to go out to the primary contact. Maybe I want to go to an admin or something. I could disable the general one and I can add a local one. So this is a tailored one for the client. So I go through all the same settings as I did last time. I want to go for my confirmation statement email. But you'll notice here, because we're in the client's records, we can go to all clients, the primary contact, or we can go and select which clients we send this one to. And then you just go through all the same settings as last time. So I'm not gonna save this, but this was the main purpose of this bit. It was just to show you that you can either go all contacts and primary contact at global level, or if you want to go into the client themselves, turn off the global one, create a personalized one, you can select which client or clients get that email from here. So that's the automations turned on a very simple level. I mean, we're looking at all sorts of options here in my firm where we can do, I want you to send this email on day one, this email on day two, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it could get very complex very easily and you can do quite elaborate things with this. And then you can follow up some of those emails for chasing, etc. But what happens once the emails are, once the automation is turned on? Well, first of all, you go to automations. If an email has been created and it's been told to go into a queue, it comes into here. And you're gonna see the client it's going to, the manager, the state that it is queued, when it was created, what service it's for, the recipient, the subject, you can preview the email and you can click to either execute, aka send, so we're gonna send that email now, or delete. So that it will delete. So I'm gonna click send. And then if I refresh my screen, you'll notice that's now gone into successful. And the state is successful. Now we do have a state called failed. That's primarily, the only reason it would fail is if an email address is wrong, i.e. there's a dot in the wrong place and it bounces back or something like that. But at least you'll know what's worked and what hasn't. So every morning you'll probably come in and clear down your queue. If after a couple of weeks you start to get more confident with this and you maybe think, you know what, that confirmation statement one, I don't actually need that to go into the queue anymore. I'm confident it's working, the timings are right. I can go to services, I can go down to my CSO one and go to the setup and I can edit this. And I'm just gonna say, don't put it into the queue and press save. And that's it, so that will now automatically generate and send that email without any manual interference whatsoever. Hopefully you'll agree that this is a really powerful automation tool and very customizable and tailorable to not only your firm, but every single individual client in your firm. You can really tailor the automation um, and you can build your own confidence as you go through. So this feature releases on the 7th of June. Again, if you're watching this before that, this isn't just to tease you, I mean, it kind of is, but, the real purpose of this video is to get you thinking about, right, what workflows have I got? Where could I add 
emails into that for and automate those emails to make communication with clients a bit better. We've got a catch up job, a client catch up service. Basically, every three months, our client managers should be reaching out to our clients saying, "Hi, hope you're well. Don't want to interfere. I'm not co- so. This is just an email. It's not a phone call. I'm not here to interfere. If you want us." Just a reminder, here's a link to my diary. Feel free to book in for a call and a chat. We'd love to catch up. Now, my team don't even have to send that email manually. We're going to set it up to go automatically from here. So it's that quick and easy. Hopefully you're all as excited as we are about this new feature. And I look forward to showing you deep dives on how we're using it in our firm, but also how we could use it in different scenarios and sharing what our users are doing as well. Thank you very much for joining me. I look forward to speaking to you again soon.